Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm reviewing the app G Cloud, which is a really cool backup app for your Android phone. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC tags, universally compatible NFC tags for use with any Android NFC phone. So head over to andytags.com after the review and check those out. Anyway, G Cloud is a cloud uh, backup app, which you probably could tell by the name. Um, but it's a really cool one, very simple and sleek interface. The basic app allows you to back up uh, text messages, uh, your phone contacts, your call log, um, videos, uh, music, uh, documents, things like that. Um, there is an add-on app, a paid add-on app, that will uh, allow you to also back up um, app data, which just means like if you had to reset your phone or lost your phone and had to download your apps, your app settings or your game levels, those type of things could be saved. So uh, both very cool features and it's one of those apps that you kind of set it up and then you don't really have to do anything much else with it um, unless you... Uh, you know, you need it to restore information on a lost phone or phone or if you have to reset your phone or something like that. Um, in which case, it comes in really handy. So let's uh, jump on my phone so I can just show you how it works, how easy it is to set up and put to use. Okay, so right here we have the G Cloud app. So I'm going to open that up for you so you can see what that looks like. And... Uh, when you open it up, you immediately come to your dashboard. So it'll tell you what the status is. Right now it's saying that a backup will run when I plug in. Because I have it set up to only run when I'm plugged into power. Um, it tells you how much storage you have and have used. So I have a total of 4.8 gigabytes of storage. I've used 3.41 gigs. And it lets you know if you have anything pending. Which I don't right now. And it lets you know what all has been backed up, how many things have been backed up. 2,321 items, and it lets you know when your last backup was. Now, if you want to do a manual backup, you can just hit Backup Now, and it'll back up right away. You can also earn free, up to 8 gigabytes free. Let me press that, and I'll show you. Um, there's different ways by liking different things, tweeting about different things, inviting friends. And you can see, um, I've done a few of those things and gotten a little bit of extra memory. Um, the big way to get extra memory is to invite friends to gcloud. So if you do that, then you get extra bonus memory. And uh, moving from dashboard, you go over to data. And the first tab up there is my data. And then grayed out right now is apps data. And I'll show you that in just a second. So, uh, actually, we're on apps data. Let me switch over to my data. I want to show you that first because this is the basic app. The basic app comes with my data, which allows you to back up uh, most of your important things. So, right now it's calculating and thinking, and there you go. So, right here, you can choose exactly what you want to include in your backup. So, you have contacts call log, uh, messages, which is text messages, photos, videos, music, documents, system settings, and browser data. So those are all the things you can choose. You can see I have contacts, call log, messages, photos checked right now, but you can back up uh, anything, uh, any of this stuff, and just the ones you want. So what's important to you to be backed up, which is really really cool. Um, so you select exactly what you want backed up there. Now if I click Apps Data, now this is the plugin uh, that you have to buy. I believe it's right now to the $3.95 or $4.99, somewhere around there. And what that allows you to do if you're rooted, and only if you're on a rooted phone, um, then you can back up the uh, app data. Now this does not back up the app APK. And if what I'm saying is a foreign language to you, then just ignore it. But the app, APK, that's the app itself. It doesn't back up the app itself, so you wouldn't be able to 
say uh, reinstall the app from the backup what it does is the apps that you select and again you select the ones you want it to back up it backs up the uh, that app's data or settings and types of type of information right now AVX I've backed up that's because I use AVX a ton and there's lots of different settings and also if I uh, have it set to remind me of something or to do something on a certain day or when I get to a certain location those types of things are in the app data and so I want to keep that so I have it set to back up it backs up that data so if you were to lose your phone you would reinstall the apps from the app store um, like normal but after that you would once you reinstall G Cloud you'd be able to restore that apps data and so you wouldn't lose your settings or if it's a game you wouldn't lose uh, the, the levels that you had already beat would be uh, included in part of the app data so just a, a good way I have it uh, uh, also for DocuSign so that's like uh, an app that stores your signature and I don't want to have to do that over again so I have it um, backing that up so anyway, really simple, really cool. Uh, just select the apps you want to back up. And again, as part of the, the app data add-on, you get four gigs free, an extra four gigs free, which is really great. And uh, should cover you for probably the, the apps that are important to you, the app data. Um, you can always upgrade if you want to. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, now when you go, if you have to reset your phone or you have to get a new phone and you need to restore any of this data, you lose it for any reason, um, you just click restore. Right now we're on apps data, so it has apps there. And you just select the ones you want to restore and then down at the bottom you would click restore and it would restore that apps data. Um, clicking over to my data, uh, which are your videos and things you can restore all the stuff you've backed up in your phone memory all the stuff you've backed up in your from your external SD card or you can select and uh, that and then go in and specifically select what you want to restore so really uh, uh, really cool um, simple way to to get your information back should you lose your phone or get stolen or like I said before I've had to reset my phone several times not this one but the uh, last couple of phones I had and lost a lot of information and this would have saved me a lot of headache now up here you do have the menu button if you hit the menu you can set up how you want this to operate so I have it set up to back up only on Wi-Fi so it'll back up when it's connected to Wi-Fi um, enable notification so when it backs up there'll be a little there's a little notification that shows in the notification bar to let me know that it's backed up you can set a schedule so you can tell it you know when you want it to back up how often you want it to back up and also as you can see right there I have it only back up when I'm plugged in so if I I'm not plugged in when this time gets here it'll wait until I do plug in again and then it will back up um, you can have the change battery uh, this is the battery saver so if you're, especially if you're having it back up whether you're plugged in or not then if your battery is below this level it won't back up that way it could save you some uh, uh, from your battery dying um, invitation status if you want to check the uh, status of friends you've invited to try to earn extra gigs um, delete files from backup so sometimes you for example I sometimes I take a bunch of pictures of something and I only want a few of them and yet I have backed up all of those pictures to the cloud I could go in here and delete uh, any files I don't want on there and then account settings that's just your your login email address lets you know how many gigs you have and that sort of thing uh, you can enable debug logs uh, to help G Cloud and then just basic stuff like help how it works and other information about G Cloud. Now going back to the main uh, menu to the dashboard uh, I will show you you can upgrade so if you click this as you see you can buy if you just want to get extra memory you don't want to invite your friends or anything like that you just want extra memory uh, for use for yourself right off the bat then for $16 you can get 16 gigabytes for a year. So pretty affordable, um, you know, especially if you have a lot of information you want to back up. Um, all your app data, maybe you do a lot of video and stuff, 
then uh, it might be worth it. You can get 32 gigs for $32 a year or 64 gigs for $55 a year. So um, you can upgrade that way if you want to. But anyway, as you can see, very uh, uh, simple um, app, very intuitive user interface, very easy to use to get the information that you need and set it up to back up exactly what you want to back up so that if anything happens, uh, you're protected. So that was the app G Cloud Backup along with the uh, uh, app data key, pro key, uh, unlocker key, which allows you to back up the app data as well. And as you can see, it's a very uh, simple and uh, I would say a user friendly interface and uh, allows you to just back up your information very easily and that way you don't have to worry if your phone is lost or if you're like me and you had to replace your phone three times um, because of other issues and each time had to reset up all your apps that really is a pain um, so once you uh, have this you don't have to worry about it of course in order to back up app data you do have to be rooted so that's important to know uh, if you don't know what rooting is then you can't you can't back up your app data you can only do that if you root your phone um, and if you need to know information more information about that then just do an internet search for rooting an android phone and you'll find all kinds of forums all about that um, but the other services are available on any phone uh, through the basic app and I highly recommend you pick it up. It's free and you get a gig of memory free and then you can you know, invite friends and things like that to earn up to 8 gigs free or you can upgrade your account and just purchase more memory. So great, uh, great app to have for security. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click the like button, share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Google+. Twitter, email, whatever, you know, tickles your fancy. Um, and that's about it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with future reviews and find out about lots of other really cool Android apps. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.